What's going on guys? It's your boy Watu and I'm back with that ghetto rig freaking <laughs> GameCube with a whole bunch of books on the side set up which means we're back to another deck profile and um, this one I would like to say is my true uh, my true king dino deck my true true king dino deck if you guys remember a couple of days ago I did do a dino deck and at the time I didn't incorporate true kings in there because I thought using the true kings really wouldn't help especially for the fact that some of the cards in here I had to trade for at locals just to even get this deck to work because at the time I didn't think there was really any other way to run this deck because everything just seemed like not being able to work. But now I was able to fix everything. I went on YouTube, looked up some other decks that have, you know, kind of sprung out of the scene since the ban list and kind of built my deck around those. So if you see a couple of, uh, you know, noticeable patterns, that's from other um, decks. Now what I'm going to say is this is like a different, this is like a twist on the uh, True King Dino um, format mainly because most people you know they kind of play to get out the combos and stuff like that but with me I like to play aggressive and on top of that I like to negate my ma the main thing about this deck is that it's built to negate pretty much everything even my extra deck which I'll show you right now mainly because I don't want to deal with it later I have trap stones to negate traps I have flying seeds to negate special summons I have magic deflectors to negate you know effects card effects double mirror force for dinos evolution pill and direct alia just in case I want to switch into those guys for my you know synchros but like all in all this deck is just built to negate and I'm going to show you guys that right now as we go into the deck um first things first I'm just going to show you guys the true kings I'm going to be playing in this deck just the three um just these three um true king brastos all right I usually most people play with um Agnimizad also but I'm like, I, like whenever I play true king card I want to be able to get their effects out um, efficiently and I feel like with Brasso's with this deck it's not going to work because I have two fire dinos in this deck and that's um Dogaron which I would either keep in my hand to play myself off of um Petit Pteranodon or I would play it over somebody else's card so I can't use that to use as effect and Miscellaneous Swords is at one which means if I had three Miscellaneous Swords then okay I would do it but right now I, I don't there's only one Miscellaneous Swords because of the ban list so I'm not going to do that um so yeah let's go on to the rest of the list uh, for now on, it's going to be all the dino cards and um, my hand traps, but we're going to start off with the dino cards right now. Um, double um, Ultimate Conductor Tyranno, Boss Monster, that's pretty much why. Uh, Dogron, Maflame Kaiju, it's your Kaiju, you go in and you pretty much make sure that your opponent can get their effects off with their big monsters. Or say they had a monster that can swing over... Um, you know, Ultimate Conductor, which is kind of hard already, but say you're going against somebody who's playing like um, something with like 4,000 or higher attack, like ABC Buster Dragon or something like that. Boom, you, you just got rid of it and you can swing over it now. Um, next off, the most important card in this deck now that, uh, you know, Miscellaneous Source got hit, Soul Eating OB Raptor. Um, really good for combo extender, combo setter, really. And um, yeah, it's really, really useful, and I'm glad I didn't get hit. Before I said I'd rather have three Misk and one of Soul Eating rather than the other way around, which I feel like I kind of overreacted about. You really need three of these for this to work. I'd rather this not get hit. I'd rather this get hit than these. So speaking of this one, I'm going to show you guys the three Dino type cards that we're going to be playing at one, and that is or well, three rank fours that we're going to be playing at one. Miscellaneous Source, Giant Rex, and Tyranno Infinity. Um, Giant Rex, you can play two and just kind of cycle through the two, you know, just banish it to bring it out. Xyz maybe, send it back to the grave, banish, bring it out, you know, like that. And then you have Tyranno who's just kind of there to end game, pretty much. Um, you're playing a deck that banishes a lot, and if you end up using Misk effect to banish off four, he already has 4,000. Because if Misk uses her effect where if she's in the grave, and you take that and three of the dinos and put it away, you can bring out a rank four, which if you bring out affinity, he already has 4,000 attack. Unless you're using, you know, him as one of the things, so he'd be in there and you come back out and you only have 3,000. But he would have 4,000 if you did it any other way. On top of that, if it's in game, you probably already got out Tyranno already, so you probably already have a couple in the banish zone anyways, which also attributes to uh, Tyranno affinity's attack. Um... Next off, I'm going to be showing you guys the normal monsters we're going to be running in this deck. Three Megalosmash Rex, two Cabozools, and three Rescue Rabbits. 
Um, if you remember my other one, I only played one rescue rabbit, mainly because I didn't have these two. Um, I had to trade to get these two into this deck, um, and it really wasn't that hard. I had to trade an El Shadal Construct. It's banned, yeah, but I know it's coming back, and when it does, that card's going to be mad expensive. And I'm kind of upset about that now. But I had to think ahead. I was desperate, and whatever, I don't care. But yeah, um, you have your three here, you have your two here, and you have your three rabbits. Um, I play three rabbits mainly because it makes it easier for you to get it, and even if you do get two rabbits, you have a discard. Um, you have a way to, you know, discard off if you have any cards that need to be discarded or whatever. Like, for example, if you're playing um, um, Twin Twister and you need to discard a card, and you already go through two of your Rescue Rabbits, or you already get through your Megalo Smashes or your Cabazoles, you have discards. Uh, next, we're going to be going over the babies. Um, most people play three babies and two petites. Some people play three babies, three petites. Some people play three babies and no petites. But I play three babies and one petite ran it on. Mainly because I'm an aggressive player, and by the time I do what I need to do, um, I'll probably have a baby to spare, and I'll probably be all out of my um, dino cards. Because I'm so aggressive when it comes to this deck. If I get a good hand, I'm about to make bank. Regardless of what happens to me, I'm going to try to get all my cards, all my dino cards out to either block for me or get out my XZs. Um, which is not healthy, but, you know, it gets me wounds. Um, two Ghost Ogre, one Max C. Those are your hand traps. Um, later on, if I can get another, um, another, uh, Psyframe Lord Gamma, I'm going to play the Psyframe, you know, two to one ratio with two Gammas and one, uh, I forgot the I forgot the name. I'll, I'll put up a picture if I can remember to do that. But it's like two, and like it has the effect where if you have it in your hand, you can use this effect. You can special some of that and one that's you know 2,500 attack. Whenever the whenever it's your opponent's turn, it's really good, and I'll show you guys in another video. And if not, if I don't do that, it's in one of our past videos. If you go on one of the videos that I did for a deck profile. Um, enough about that. Let's go on to our spells. Three fossil dig. One Dragonic Diagram, one Lost World, two Terraforming. Uh, three Fossil Dig, of course, if you don't do that, you're kind of dumb. I'm not trying to judge you, but you're, you're kind of dumb if you don't do that. It's the, be it's the best way to get out the cards you need that are level 6 and lower. Um, I play one Dragonic Diagram and one Lost World, mainly because I have one Dragonic Diagram, and I only have two Lost Worlds, and I would play two Lost Worlds, but I don't... Now that I'm playing True Kings, I really don't need two Lost Worlds. I'd rather just stick to what I did before and just have... Um, once you're going to diagram one lost world into Terra, usually I do the two one ratio anyways. Where if I have three of something, if there's a way for me to search up, I only have like two of that, unless it's fossil dig. Um, so like for example, if I had three diagram, I would probably play two terraformings, not three, mainly because I feel like it's real bricky. Not bricky, but like if you get one of those diagrams early, then the terraforming's useless at that point. One of them is. Um, and on top of that, you know, I do need a discard, so I like playing two terraformings rather than three. Um, and I like the fact that I do have a better chance of getting Dragonic Diagram if I play one and one rather than one and two. Um, so yeah, it's um, one less card to have to, you know, mill into. If I'm using my uh, card talk right. Remember, I'm still, I'm still new to Yu-Gi-Oh. Kind of. Two Forbidden Chalices. Um, I feel like it's a, like a really, really, really good card to kind of negate. Like I said, this deck is built to negate. Um, you give your opponent 400 attack. Not your opponent, but your opponent's monster 400 attack. And they can't use their effect that turn. So it really does stall for a bit. So say you're going against another dino type deck. And they end up bringing out Diagram and a baby. You know, they're about to go into something crazy. You can use the effect to, whenever they get out, um, Obi Raptor, which they're going to need to get out in order to do their combo. Forbidden Chalice, they can't do their combo anymore. Now they have like a over after just sitting out there by themselves. Um, that's just an example. Um, it's not going to always happen, but that's just something that has happened in the past. Um, one Soul Charge, one uh, Cosmic Cyclone, and one Burial from a different dimension. I use Burial. Um, it's, it's still limited to one. Um, some people may start clicking off the video, but I play Burial because once you banish off, you know, your um, miscellaneous, it's, you know, it's gone. With burial, you can send it back to your grave and use the effect the second time. So it's like having two, um, it's like having two mists again in the grave. So that's really cool. Um, Cosmic Cyclone, you pay a thousand to get rid of it. Only reason why I play one is because you have so many ways to get into their back row. You have 
to Lagia, you know what I'm saying? You have a couple in the back here. You have Tornado Dragon, which we'll get into later. Um, you have um, the three True Kings. If you can get out double waters, yo, you get rid of two of their back row. You get rid of two cards in their back row. You're already, you know, kind of um, tw twistering their back row with the True Kings anyway, so you really don't need that. Soul Charge, you know, someone hits you with um, Dark Hole to reset both of you. You have a way to rebuild your, you know, your deck. Going into, not your deck, but your field. Going into your traps, double quaking mirror force. And we'll get onto that later on as to why I have double quaking. Usually I have this down, just, you know, turn everything to face down the fence and they can't change it. They can't turn back around for like, ever. So they're stuck there, unless they have a way to, if they're willing to, you know, tribute, they're stuck there. Um, I'm gonna go over this one more time so you guys can see what I mean. These two, if I'm ever going to go into my extra deck, these two are probably going to be the ones that are going to get touched with either Double Trap Stun, Double Flying C, Double Magic Deflection, or Double Mirror Force. Um, these two will probably be replacing something else, but when it comes to these two traps, if I have to switch out, it's probably going to be for one of these two uh, combos. Whenever I brought these, these were originally for Zodiac whenever they were still a problem, and these were built for if I'm going to Dinos to uh, you know open it up for myself. That's pretty much what I got those um, cards for, if that's, you know, something that you wanted to ask. Next, we're going to go into our um, extra deck. Alright, extra deck's pretty simple. We have um, Double Evolves our Lagia, of course, um, being that, you know, you can only use this effect once. You want to play two of them, and on top of that, you can easily get those cards back out of the grave, so you're fine. Um, one Dolka, you can play, um, you can do his effect twice, whereas you can only do this one once. You have two of them, so you can technically do it twice, and you have this one who already does it twice. Um, except the only difference is this pretty much negates everything that is possible to use in the game, while this one only negates monster effects, which is kind of like a Ghost Ogre in a way. Um, so it's pretty, it's pretty much two Ghost Ogres if you think about it that way. Um, going into our rank fours, other than our dinos, or technically dragons, Gaga Good Cowboy for the game ender, um, Castell. Really good rank four, abyss dweller for dinos, and they can't get rid of it with um, with those gems. So you know you can use that now. Um, Tornado dragon, I just kind of put it in there as a you know filler. I was trying to re I was trying to make 15 cards, and that made the 15th card. Really good card, I like to say. Um, once you use the effect, you're kind of getting into the back row again, which is why I said you really don't need cosmic cyclone. It really gets into the back row, just like I said. Um, Going into another rank four, um, Ragna Zero, Utopia into Utopia Ray, and then our last two is True King of All Calamities and Phantom Fortress, just in case I can get into one of them. And my, you know, my links are probably just going to be, you know, double decode into a Misses. You really don't need Misses Radiant anymore because um, with those gems gone, but it's there just in case you need it. And finally, our tokens. You want to have five tokens or have a die that has, you know, six sides. That's all you really need. Um, sometimes I like it. Um, I like the whole, you know, um, Lost World thing where, you know, if they really can't do anything and you swarm them up to a point where they have five tokens on their side of the field. You can use Ultimate Get the Tyranno's Effect. They're all in defense. You can attack it for 5,000 at that time. So that's crazy. Um, so, yeah. Um, that's pretty much the deck. If there's anything that you think I should fix or anything that you think I should take out, please let me know in the comment section. If it seems like I was kind of like rambling and starting like, you know, to change my subject in certain spots and some things just didn't make sense, I am tired. I'm sorry. I'm doing this, um, really, really late. Like two, is it two? It's 2.15 in the morning. So yeah, um, uh, my B, uh, <laughs> So, if, yeah, if I feel tired, that's the reason why. Don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. I love a new addition to the Duels Club, and it's your boy Michael signing out.